I always wanted to set new goal and to achieve all the goals that uh, I used to plan uh, for myself. But every time that uh, I started to do the action to achieve this goal, in the beginning I had uh, a really high energy. I was like, uh, I'm gonna become the best dancer in the world. I will achieve this goal. I will make a lot of money. But in the beginning, I started to do the consistent action to achieve that goal. But what happened? Like after two, three weeks, I started to, my motivation started to vanish. Like, ciao, ciao, something like this. So one day I was there working, working, and then another day I started to procrastinate. And then the day after, I procrastinate again. And the day after, it passed one week, two weeks, I don't train. One month, I don't train. And then I became lazy, I don't feel like to do it, and all this kind of stuff. And I started to tell myself why this thing happened every time to me. I became inconsistent with my action, I became inconsistent with everything that I needed to do to achieve the goal. So one day I decided that enough, it's enough. Now Cromwell CK is time to do the work, it's time to solve this problem and to come up with a solution because I cannot continue to do something like this like it doesn't make any sense I will never achieve anything that for me is important right so today I will show you what I am currently doing to become more consistent so there are eight rules one two three four five six eight make a plan every time that I started to do something like Example, I say to myself, I want to become a dancer. So I started to do the, the thing that I needed to do, like uh, train, do the movement, put the music, dance, or I needed to finish a book, uh, or needed to, um, example, to study something. I started to study the thing, and then after, like I said before, the motivation, uh, ciao, ciao. So, so because I, I didn't have a plan, I didn't have a, like a step I needed to do to achieve my goal. Have a clear plan in your mind on how you want to do the stuff. So you don't feel like you don't know what you have to do. Great milestone. Every time you achieve something on your goal, you should celebrate and you should make a party, make everything that you want in order to realize that you are progressing, uh, you are advancing, you are going towards something. The third thing is to make time for your goal. So you cannot just go around the day like and do the action when you feel like it. You should make time for what you needed to do in order to achieve your goal. So example, if I needed to train uh, the next day, I should make a time to train the next day. So if I have to train like from seven to eight, I should make a time to train from seven to eight. Only worry of the moment. When, every time I set a goal, I always think about the future. I never thought about the moment, the action that I'm doing. I only think about, oh, how am I going to... Uh, I always think about what is going to happen in the future. It's more helpful if you think about the moment, the present moment that you are right now. So it's very important to, to, to be in the present moment, to focus only in the small step that you are achieving right now this day stop negotiating with yourself negotiating the meaning is stop making excuses every time that you need to do the work you make excuses you are just basically telling to yourself that you don't want to achieve the stuff that you decided that you wanted to achieve stop it 
stop it stop it when it is time to work you work because it's something that you decided that you want to do so it better work it better telling to yourself you know what ck you know what karma you know what you decided to do the work so it's better to do the work it's better to make it happen so stop negotiating with yourself stop it stop it maybe one day it's okay but stop it try to don't do it because the only person that you are going to hurt it's yourself not uh, your friend not your mother not your father no one the only person that you are going to hurt is yourself so stop it revisit your goal often if possible every day so because it give you energy it give you like uh, oh today i know what i am working toward oh uh, this one is very forgive your failure this is something that i'm really is difficult for me to 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 accomplish forgive my failure every time that i think about the past i get depressed because i fail a lot a lot a lot so it's important to forgive the failure that you had to be friend with failure to be friend with the failure today i'm going to fail but i'm going to get uh, get up and keep going keep fail 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 because without fail you don't have success and the last one is do it anyway even if you don't feel to do it do it anyway force yourself to do it anyway you don't feel to do it do it anyway you decided to do it do it anyway is going to make you grateful in the future do it anyway when you don't do it anyway what happen you lose momentum and uh, lead you to procrastination and procrastination lead you to feel depressed and feel depressed lead you to feel less confident on yourself less confident of yourself lead you to something it doesn't give you like a good feeling so do it anyway find an accountability person example for me like an accountability will be like I promise myself that I'm going to do a video a YouTube video every week and uh, the people that are listening to me are accountable to me so so this is was the end of the video I want to remind to you to subscribe to the channel and to like the video if you like it if not uh, write in the comment what i can improve uh, to deliver a better message and i just wanted to show you what i am learning during the, my journey and uh, hope uh, that to inspire you to do the same uh, and to grow together